with us, Pierre, and he is the owner of the bag, and it's now been nine years. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, we were talking during the break, and you have an interesting background. You've been, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how you ended up here in Sugarloaf. Well, um, I, I came up to Maine in 1971 to go to Bates College, uh, and when I was there, um, I didn't finish. I went to work for a restaurant uh, and worked in the restaurant industry for a bit and then went to the railroad industry, so something completely different, um, and had a lot of fun. I am still active in that a little bit, but I got to go to Argentina to work and South Africa. I worked in Poland. I built cars for Iraq. Uh, met, met a bunch of Iraqis. That was eye-opening. That was a good, good experience. Wow. Um, and then I had, uh, nine years ago, eight years ago, I had a, a couple of events in my life that changed my life a little bit, and mm -hmm. I needed something to distract me. Mm -hmm. So uh, Pat Mulligan, who used to be my partner up here, mm -hmm. uh, came to me and said Bill Jones, the previous owner, mm -hmm. uh, wanted to sell the bag. And um, he said, would you look at the numbers? I looked at it and I said, I'll buy it with you, Pat. So uh, we did that. Just like that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You could feel it. It was good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then coming up here and feeling the vibe. and uh, It is a good I vibe. was telling you when we were talking before, I, um, I I've never skied. I know. I've that. really never been to a ski resort, so this was all foreign to me. <laughs> but it's been it's been a lot of fun, and with the with the employees and the, and the regulars, uh, um, I've I've learned a lot. Do you think you have a will ski? No, no. <laughs> no. Too old and too many injuries. Well, Can't you brought it. some fine items here. You've got a, a great selection of uh, of wearables at the bag, don't you? We do. We have a lot of stuff for Christmas for people and mm -hmm. and, and hoodies and. Um, Katie does a great job of keeping us stocked on that. So a lot of things for Christmas. I love the flannel. Yeah, yep. Yeah, she's ordered some new ones. She hasn't told me what color. She never does, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll leave it up to her. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we have a um, we have a bunch of these wee ones for little kids. Yep. So we can give these away tonight to people. So yeah. we got some of those, and we got some golf balls and another T-shirt, some um, bag uh, glasses. Yeah, you don't have to steal them. We're going to give two away. So don't steal any. You can win them tonight. <laughs> no one would ever do that. Uh, are, you, are you a golfer as well? Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy golfing. You do, you do a little golfing. Yeah, oh, that's I come up here you. and play. And uh, we bought a house on the first fairway a couple of years ago. Perfect. So we get bombarded with golf balls frequently. <laughs> <laughs> so. You are the guy selling the golf balls there. That's, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> So the bag is open. Tell us when your hours are open. It's pretty much whenever the mountain's open, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. The mountain opened a week before us this year. We weren't quite ready to open up, oh. so we opened up last Friday. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we open up you know, every day about 11, mm -hmm. but typically they're knocking at the door a quarter of, and we let people in. Saturdays and Sundays we open at 10 to, uh, to do Bloody Marys and, and, and so forth. And, mm -hmm. You know, we, we close at 8-ish, and then uh, maybe sad days at nine-ish. Did you feel a lot of pressure uh, you, when you first took over the restaurant? You know, people get used to things around here. You, have, you probably noticed that. They don't like, <laughs> sometimes people don't like change. Did you notice any of that? I could tell you so many stories. <laughs> let's, the, let's see, the first year, the walls inside were a, um, ugly red, in my opinion. And people came in and, and they'd always say, gee, nice, this, nice that you're the new owner. It's nice to meet you. Don't change anything. So after the first year, I painted the walls. And those people were back and they said, I thought I told you not to change anything. <laughs> so constantly those things are happening. They say, just don't, don't goof things up here. Did you get out of that lamp and say, who put this here? I, I think that was the second time I was up here, I said to the, to the guys, I said to Jay Reynolds, Jay, what's this all about, this silly lamp? What's, what's going on here? Pierre, don't touch the lamp. <laughs> okay, so I never touched the lamp. Well, it has its own Facebook page. It does, it yeah. does. Yeah, a lot of followers. Yeah, we had, a, um, we had someone uh, tag us on the Instagram or something the other day about the picture, and their comment was, why can't you raise it so we can talk to each other and see each other? <laughs> Obviously, they're rookies. Yeah, they're obviously, not they don't office. get it. Yeah. No, they don't. Yeah, it's an honor to sit next to the green lamp. It is. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's, uh, maybe we can give something away here, huh? Sure. Yeah. Um, we have uh, some trivia questions, and we have some pictures. Andy, do you want to use one of those pictures? Oh, uh, let's get, uh, All right, so this is the, uh, the growler. Now, because 
you make beer there, you can sell beer to go, right? That's right. Yeah, that's, that, that's right. That, that's, a good, that's a good scheme. Don't ask me how much that costs, because I have no idea. Well, so. it doesn't matter. It's worth it. It's worth <laughs> twice the price, right? We have plenty of those. Yep. Good Christmas presents. Yeah, that'd be good. And you can bring it in, and whenever you're open, you can go and get it filled up. What kind of a brews are you featuring currently? We have our old basics that have been really popular over the years, pick pole ale and the potato and the brown. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we try, and, we try and adjust them a little bit to keep with current taste so they don't get, don't get too old. Mm -hmm. But this year we have a couple of really good specials. We have a brewer's choice that's going to be on for a while. That's a jalapeno IPA. Hmm. Now, when I first heard that, Greg, I thought, that, I don't like jalapenos. It's really good. It has Is just it? a little bit of a bite to it. So huh. I like that. In fact, I've been giving it to people as they come in and ask them to try it. And so it doesn't make you sweater. We've got to, well, like, come in and try it. And we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's good. And then we have a hazy IPA that's really pretty popular now. Uh -huh. so good stuff. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And you make it right on site? We make a lot of it there. Uh, we can only make probably 10% of, of what we right, need. Right, because you so, have a lot of room. Yeah, yeah. so we subcontract it yep. out to Baxter Brewing. Oh, good. Yeah. And, and they do the cans for you? They do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where are those available? They're available everywhere now. We just went to um, uh, distributors. So Pine oh, State is going to be distributing it up in the northern part of the state. Uh, and Nappy's going to be distributing it down in the southern part. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's selling a lot of beer. Yeah. Well, we'll give away this growler right here. And you can try one of those fine beers. I know it's making everyone thirsty right now. And uh, since 1969. Right, right yeah. there. Yeah. And we talked about how I get in it. Was it's one of the things I get the biggest kick out of is because to me it's a you know it's a business right. and you know you try and not goof things up and let the bag be the bag. But I had a doctor's appointment last spring and um, I was driving up here right afterwards and the the, 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 the PA said to me, uh, "What what do you have to do the rest of the day? You should take it easy." I said, "Well, I have to drive up to Sugarloaf." Oh, what do you do up there? Well, I have a restaurant, the Bag and Kettle. <gasps> oh my goodness, you own the Bag and Kettle. And that reaction I get from people is just unbelievable. And it's I think true. it speaks more of the bag and the mountain and, and what the bag means to the mountain. So. Well, when you come here, there are certain places that you just go, you yeah. know? And that is certainly one of them. And it has been for so long, as long as I've been coming here. Yeah, it really has. I get it, you know, in the beginning of the year when we, when we reopen, or at homecoming, when people come in and... Um, they hug the staff and, geez, I haven't seen you, how are you? And, right. and that's the other advice I get. Make sure you take care of the staff so nothing happens to them. And you have? Uh, well, I, I, yeah. hope, I hope so. They're not here to answer otherwise, so yeah. I'll say I do. <laughs> All right, well, we have.